We're live? Mm. Hi guys. Hello everybody. Hey everyone. <laughs> and can they can they see Jason and Tony? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright guys, we are here at the latest version of Help Us Break Miranda's. It's exciting because we have our art director, Tony Trujillo. Oh. And we have Jason Hughes, who is the head engineer of Miranda's, who has architected our multiplayer back end. He's got his laptop up and running, so when we break it, it's going to be awesome because he'll be able to tell us what's going on, how it's broken. It'll be exciting. How many players do we think we're going to get multiplayer for it before it breaks? At least three. <sighs> yes! I think we can go more than three. Last time we had like 40 and then it would crash and it was awful. So this should be way better. Jamie's here too. Jamie, come here and say hi. I can't go. I can't come. All right. Jamie's here. Yeah. I'll say hi for Jamie and Paul. Say hi, Paul. Hello. Paul's here, too. All right. Um... Castle wall. If you go through that portcullis, it'll load up a. It'll load up the multiplayer scene where we're testing our our tech stack. So there's a multiplayer side inside the castle walls, and then outside is a single player as you walk around the forest. And we we make that distinction so that we can we can kind of develop two things at the same time. So one, we can focus on a multiplayer tech stack, and there's a safe place where we can hack a bunch of code in to be playing around with what single player might, or, or what kind of basic game actions would feel like in core loop actions. So that's why those two things are, are separated. So let's give it a go. I'll jump in. And then I think we should, I mean, you know, maybe we should just push the button and have it go live now, guys. Because yeah. it'll, take, sure. it'll take everyone some time to install it and such, right? Sure. All right. So it says I was disconnected here, is it? Yeah, just hit the reconnect button. Yeah. All right. Is, can everyone see? My Miranda C screen. So this is an important screen that's about to pop up here, guys, because uh, right here there's a halfling exemplar of the even strides. Um, so over here, what you're going to see is you're going to see a list of all of your exemplars, and you're going to see uh, whether or not they have collected materium or not, and that's obviously a huge part of this playtest, guys, for helping us pound on it and test it. You get granted materium for every exemplar you have, as long as you can find the materium, uh, which is in the multiplayer map, and touch it. That'll be your game action that will uh, that will grant you materium. Materium is not going to be granted uh, the moment you touch it. What we're doing is we're storing all of that in the database, and then we will, after the play test is through, we'll distribute the materium to, to all of your exemplars that play. But this little green check mark says this guy's already collected it. So you'll you'll see you'll see little icons next to your guys, and hopefully that'll be that'll be helpful. Um, and there's three states. One is this exemplar is not eligible. So if you've purchased it or transferred it into your wallet past the snapshot, which was 5 p.m. on Sunday, uh, then it will be not eligible. Um, but as long as it was in your wallet as of 5 p.m. Sunday, it will be eligible. And you will see, um, is it dot, 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 Jace? What does it look like? Yeah, it's yeah. like a little yellow or green. What color was it? It's yellow. Yellow, there we go. Sorry. So yellow is like, this guy can, can collect it. Green, little green check mark means it has been collected. So we got some cool stuff. You know, I mean, I... Um, oh, I'm starting in the multiplayer map. That's exciting. That's where I left off. All right, what well, kind of stores your position and saves it from last time? So this is inside the castle walls, guys. So this obviously looks way better than before, I'm hoping. Um, but when you're inside the castle walls, this is going to be where you'll see other players. 
And did we push it live on? Yeah, we're working on it. Working on it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Jamie will tell us when we have confirmation from the engineers that you guys can start downloading it and playing it too. But if had you guys done that, you would be running around in here with me. So it's really cool. This this pathway is kind of neat. I won't walk down there. You guys can walk down there and you can see it. But it's kind of beautiful and overlooks the ocean. Um, if you hit the F key, guys, you you get kind of a lantern or, or a flashlight, if you will. Um, that can help you when, when times get kind of dark. After it's officially nighttime, you'll see kind of braziers and torches that come to life. Um, and the day and night cycle is greatly compressed so that you guys can get to see, you know, you can get to see both. So if you exit the castle, it will take you to the single player map. Well, that's pretty. Kind of cool looking. Deer! The deer are cool. And they run from you if you get too close. Run to the deer. I think they should run from you sooner. Run, deer. They seem pretty calm. That's too cool. I think what you guys are going to see, let me just walk you down here. I think what you guys are going to see is you're going to start down here, generally down this little pathway down to the sea. You know, so up here, you know, we've got, we've got this, you know, starting to play with, what do castles look like? You know, we, we don't, nothing's set in stone yet, guys. We're just kind of experimenting visually. Tell me, do you want to talk about that, that process? Sure. Uh, it's, a, it's just a process of iteration and trying a lot of different ideas and seeing, you know, seeing what sticks. Um, you can take up like, a, Year, but the team's really dial in in our style. Um, we want to land on our style that feels appropriate for the game, the content. Um, we want to develop something that's unique, very recognizable, and is a great little brand. We also want to make sure that it resonates with the community in a positive way. Um, the crash.
everybody a glimpse of the uh, solution. It's a nice little high yield. Yeah. It's a nice little overlook. A moment. It's the horizon though, you know? It's like the horizon line doesn't meet the... That's the, probably your fault again. This might be my fault yeah. as well, guys. I had it set up, but... <laughs> the boat looks cool down there in the fog. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty nice. That is pretty cool. How's your frame rate? It's all right? It's real creamy. People! Oh, someone, someone's got an L. Oh, that's awesome. I know L. Good. Hello, or so many people. I think it probably broke the last uh, the last record already. The animation should be syncing up properly now too. Eric did a great job, huh? Yeah, he did. Oh, see, look at that number. I mean, what is that? Probably twenty. How many people are in this? Um, it's probably about thirty by now. Ooh, they keep coming. They're they're gonna keep coming. They're right. floating in. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> People just flying in. What's up? Kind of just watch us. What's the up? <laughs> You'll uh, climb the ladder and stand out everybody. Okay, everyone jump if you were at Gallivers. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! That's, awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. Uh, it's feeling pretty good. So how many are in there right now? I don't even know. I just saw someone log in with about 50 exemplars. All right. There's got to be 50 there. Yeah. Looks like it. It's so cool to see them like running in from the, yeah. from the gates. Pouring in. They are just pouring in. All right. Well, everyone watching... This is already fundamentally a better multiplayer experience than we had previously, isn't it, guys? 342 points. Wow. 342 people. I don't know if they're in multiplayer, but there's 342 clients connected to the server. Now, is there a, is there a, is there a, is there a lock right there, LJ? So if, like, if we hit a certain number, they won't be able to come into the game? Yeah, it'll boot them out. Okay. It, it basically says, sorry, you can't come in right now. It'll throw them back. And does it kick them totally out of the game? I think it takes them to the login screen and says the server's full. Uh, we, we haven't fixed all the... I mean, sucks. there's so much we have left to do, guys. I am thrilled that you're in the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So everyone that's watching, definitely uh, know that if you try to get into multiplayer and it's full, ideally, we have a sweet little message for you that says... Multiplayer server is full right now. Try to come back in a bit, but it might We're not sure but it might kick you out completely like back to the exemplar selection screen, so Look at that. Oh my god, I'm not sure I'm not flashing Oh Can the other people see you with your glasses? No, no, no. no. Uh, yeah. It, it, yeah. yeah, we talked about that guys. So if you hit F, you're gonna turn your light on but no one else can see that light. Um, if if we would have synced that, then there would be 300 lights in the scene, and that would have been probably pretty bad for performance. Look at that! <laughs> it looks awesome! Okay, let's try it again. Everybody jump if you were at Gallivers. Jump. Does that include us? <laughs> I'm jumping. We're all, we're, we are all still at Gallivers, everybody. We're, look at that. Wait, can we stack? That was probably the best part about Miranda's is stacking. No. Can you stand on somebody? I don't think so. I, you you <laughs> end up repulsing from them, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Little halflings. Pretty cool, man. Looking stable, too, isn't it? Not bad. Not bad. Nice job, Jason. Thanks. <laughs> you 800 people are watching. Right Look at that. That is pretty. Oh, see, that feels. See, one of the things we really wanted was we wanted a city to feel a bit like a city, you know? It's like... This feels bustling. It does. It does feel bustling. And this is looking like 60 FPS with this many people in here. And we have not done any LODs on these characters or anything. Um, Fantastic. Yeah, we're rendering people all the way across the map. Can we get on top of this? You can get up there. Oh! I mean, some people can. Ah! Boom. Look at that. 
That is cool. You two guys on that cart are chilling with my cart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're on, if you're on top of here. What's up? That's awesome. Is that a little touches too, guys? I mean, like you know, by the braziers, they should, you know, you should hear the crinkle crackle of the brazier, you know, when you hear it. Let's go back out in the single player. This is looks like it's working fantastic. Hope it's working well for you guys too. It, you know, again, we're just trying to, you know, start the tech stack, get it built, and then we'll be able to extend and optimize from there. Jason, do you want to talk about that a little bit? Um, well, I can. Yeah, the, <clears throat> the the previous tech stack was something that. Uh, just wasn't quite stable at numbers, so we we really just we hewed it down to the very base and started over. And um, you know, there's a, there's a whole lot of stuff that we we were like, okay, so what does this need to support? And then we started planning for it. So we started piecing piecing together the the diagram for it. I think I don't know if you showed that yesterday, at Galvers, I but I did, yeah, yeah. So there's there's like a, an initial edge uh, connection that we make, and that allows you to just connect to our cluster. The cluster then talks to the gameplay zone. A lot of this is still very preliminary, and and in fact we haven't separated out all the different parts of the server, but by uh, by just writing the simplest possible method, we didn't get very far. So we've been optimizing it and, and trying to make it a little bit more efficient. And, and pre uh, predominantly what we've been doing is making it so that the, the movement messages going back and forth are as tiny as possible and easy to decode. And that, uh, that gets us to a lot of players really quick. We're hoping to get a little, a little bit higher la later on though. Can't come in the multiplayer or can't get in a single? Yeah, so what'll happen is uh, when the server starts to bog down, uh, we have a ton of players on right now and we know it's going to be too many. Um, it's going to, first of all, probably time out on connection. Uh, it may, if you get to the connection part and you try to log in, it may also just tell you there's too many players in that zone. Uh, and in theory, we'll, we'll find the right number and set it there. Because right, I think we have 500 as the max limit. I know that's too high. Ooh, really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So we have 500 multiplayer, it should it'll, crash. It'll probably choke and die, yeah. Nice. Is yeah. that just going to reset the server and everyone's got to come back in? We'll kick, you, kick all, you out of the game? We'll all get it in the teeth, man. <laughs> right in the teeth. Nice. Tree down. Wood acquired. Oh look, the windmill's turning. It turns very slowly during the day, but at night when the wind picks up, it spins faster. We got some ability to craft some things here too, guys. You just like walk up to the station, you'll you'll get some options. That's a grain scan. This is an archery. Um, over here, it's a tannery, a little simple tannery, and a meat stand. I'm going to use R. To acquire sinew from my deer meat, because the sinew and wood you can craft a bow. I still have one wood left. I need two wood for arrows. You can kill a deer, guys, which is kind of cool. Maybe some more wood. You can kill it. You can kill a deer and then loot its body. You know, again, like you know, none of this is like feels fantastic, guys. You know, it's like that. I think, you know, Tony was saying it takes a year or more to kind of get to the final look of a game, uh, you know, or a style. It's the same thing with gameplay mechanics themselves. To get, to get it to feel really good to interact with the world is, is a very long endeavor. So what we start in game development generally is standing pieces up so that it's functional at all. Um, and then we can start to get a feel for where we need to put our energy to, to make it better. So I just got some more wood. I think so let me have a bow. No, oh, I have a bow, I need arrows. And you'll see that you know it takes a little bit of energy and your energy meter will, will go back up. You know, we've kind of made the commitment that your energy meter refills pretty quickly. Um, as long as you've slept and you've eaten. So if you're sleeping and and food meters are very high. Then your energy will will come back uh, very much like we used to perform a lot of actions. But if you haven't slept or you haven't eaten, it'll be it'll be half that. 
625 concurrent. In the castle? Right now. I want to get one. Nope. I'm going. I mean, there may be a lot of them in single player. That's the total. But there's 625 of you guys out there. I have a bow. Watch this. My kill of the year. Dude. I kill the year. You guys do. Five years. It's kind of just like one shot, one kill for these things. But we can lose that and acquire more deer meat. Acquired. Alright, I'm gonna go in and check it out. Let's break it. How bad is it? What are we looking like? It's we're uh, the server right now with six hundred and twenty five people or so. We have about seventy megs worth of RAM used. We've only got a few gigs, guys, so keep it coming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But there's there's garbage collection happening, so it's gonna it's gonna end up bogging down, and you'll see some stuttering at some point. Well, I'm not seeing stuttering yet, and there is a grip of folks in here. So guys, I hope you know, I hope you see this as monstrous progress, especially considering the last playtest, right? That was pretty rough. This is pretty sweet. There's a whole other back half of the world that we explore too once we get in there in the single player area. I know. There's, there's a lot of fun things to see out there in the single player area, guys, and I almost feel like if I go over there, it ruins some of the surprise. Oh, yeah. I just try to tease them. It is a tease. But there are things over there. Uh, again, it's F for your flashlight. People have some question about Yeah, yeah. Do you want to talk about how to? Yeah, so, you know, um, this character has already collected it, guys, but, you know, the experience would be if you walk in, people are just flying in, dude. It's so cool. Um, if you walk in and you look to your left, there's a huge statue there. Um, and there should be a ball of materium over here. You'll see it kind of floating and making a cool sound. If you touch it, as long as your exemplar is eligible, it should it should only appear, actually, Jason, if you're eligible, right? Yeah, if you can't collect it, it's not there. Okay, if you can't collect it or you've already collected it, it won't be there. But if your guy is eligible and you touch that sphere, you should see it like play a little different of a sound effect or a fee effect. And uh, how's it going? Come on in. Eric. Eric, look at all the people! Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Guys, uh, Eric is here, Eric Dubay, he's uh, one of our engineers and was responsible for a lot of the animation syncing. Is that correct, Eric? Yes. Yes, I was. How many people we have in there? Right there. 658, 658, right, right. Active, active, you. Oh, my gosh, fantastic. What an what incredible tech stack, stack you have built, good, sir. Good, sir. <laughs> so many, so many people. people. It's going to get bigger and bigger. It's going to get better and better. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. You can actually, you can actually kind of kind of make it up make walls, walls a little bit. Some of those, some of those blocks, blocks are actually geometry. Yeah. 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 It's it's, it's challenge. Yeah. Chance. I think you can make, make, make it over the walls while it's falling into the energy. You will. You will. And, and we're, 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 customer support is not going to happen. Don't ask. Don't ask. Look at that. So guys, this has got to be way out of the way before, right? Alright. I find that he's very distracted too. He's so so probably just like having a hand in his unless, 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 unless maybe he knows, knows the person or something or something. Or something. Or, or, I mean, maybe just leave that off. Looks awesome. Looks awesome. awesome. Wow. wow. Fantastic. And there's really a difference between PPC at the end of the day and PC. Right, guys. Like, if we say we're going to try to get 1,000 things up and running. It'll be, it'll be, you know, there was, there was a split split between those two. Yeah, that's actually yeah, a feature, that's a feature, feature of the game. Uh, uh, the text stack is set that up so that, so that NPCs and monsters and everything, and everything, everything, everything that moves and, moves and acts, acts in the world, the world is actually, actually not, not running, running inside the game server. server. So that that just processes, processes actions. Action. So the NPCs are connecting in the same way the players do. 
and, and in theory, in theory you know, we can, you know, we can, we want to have, we want to have a zone full of hundreds and hundreds of monsters. We can do that, do that, and we can even, we can even spread that out over the servers because there, it's not all it's about all this one, one single one server process. process. So, so uh, you know, we may, we may be able to put them to sleep and, and, and you know, not, not see the you on you necessarily. No one is there. No one is there. Run, run, run. Look at all the oh, man, yeah, yeah, it's so great so to see you all in here. here. It's just like a preview of the So I'm so standing on top of the red and white tent. White tent. People! <laughs> 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 what What's up, what's up, sir? <laughs> How cool is cool. that? <laughs> I think the mouse sensitivity should be okay, but it's tilde, right? Like, yeah, okay. yeah, or you can hit escape. Okay, so if you guys hit escape or tilde, well, escape would take you out of the app, wouldn't it? No. No, it just takes you? Yeah. Okay, so if you guys hit escape or the tilde, you can adjust your mouse your mouse sensitivity. We we think we have it in a pretty good place. It's fairly universal, but feel free to mess with that. Oh yes! <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Hello, Orc. Your jumping is extreme. Oh. It does look it's so in sync. Hello people! So what's cool, guys, you know, one of the things we want to run at is you guys will be able to talk to each other. And Tony, aren't these characters, you know, part of their blocky jaws? Like, they're there and ready to be... Yeah, they're set up with the uh, mouths, so it's ready to go. And some facial expressions with the eyes and will eyebrows. Be, Simple stuff, but expressive. Will it be proximity, Mike? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Wow, that looks so good. There's just people everywhere. <laughs> Can you tell them people are specifically in the multiplayer area? Yeah, if you hit tilde and then hit slash, player list. Ooh, we have a console. Oh. Yeah. So you can scroll and guess. Oh my god, 8,000 people right now. I can't believe it. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope I hope that's really cool for you, and that you guys, you know, enjoy seeing that many people. And this is obviously a massive leap forward from where we were. We're going to continue to work on that. Um, God, that looks that looks just looks great. You know, out here, um, you know, we you can craft some basic things. Um, so I'm heading out of the portfolios back into the single player area of the game, and there's some cool stuff for you guys to explore. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna have you guys just kind of walk around and explore that. One, two, three, four, and five on your keyboard will switch your weapons uh, or your tools that you have equipped. So if you hit three and equip your sickle, you should be able to kind of cut down some wheat, and that'll give you some wheat and some wheat seeds. You should be able to use your wheat seeds to plant on some plots. Water, water's an interesting one. We were, we were actually talking about water at Gallagher, with a few people in the uh, um, You know, we, we can make water free, essentially, or we can have you fetching buckets from wells and streams all day. And it's just kind of a trade-off, right? Like, one is a little bit more physical and real, but um, it's kind of nice to not have to worry about water, so I don't know if we'll, I don't know where that line will be, but I think we might be able to make water free. Because if it's a well, you'd want to place a well within your deed, and now you've taken up a spot in your deed for your well. Or you can find a deed that's closer to water, and that those are more valuable, but yeah. We could do a proximity thing. We could say your crops don't need water you know, if they're within X number of units of a stream. Okay. So at night, guys, you know, you know, the lanterns will kick on, they'll sway in the breeze, and the mill will spin with greater velocity. Inside the house here, you know, um, there's a few basic things you can do. Uh, one of them, if your sleep meter gets low, like, like mine is, you, you can go up to the bed, 
Man, hit E to sleep. That black square is supposed to fill your screen, but it's not. But imagine it does. Imagine it does. I'll work on that. That was my fault, actually. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, there's, there's, there's some other kind of cool stuff out there to, to look at and explore, guys, but I'll, I'll let you do that. Um, I'll let you do that on your own. So I'm going to run down this path. If you hold that shift, you can run. We're just trying to get some art together to start looking at styles and how things feel. This is a quick pass on maybe what a citadel of the sun might look like for King Brad of Polyant, the first citadel owner. I'm going to head in one last time. Let's see how many people are in the old multiplayer zone. Or let's see what happens if it's full. Jason, what did you what did you program? There is no full. There's like 5,000 people in here. <laughs> I see 725 right now. 725 people. That's total, right? Not total. total. Not, there might not necessarily be 725 in in the multiplayer zone. Yeah. I, I would guess that we're somewhere over 300 at this point based on the density. Oh, man. With a power cap, though, right? Yeah, no. In theory. In theory. In so theory, 500 people? Cap? Yeah. I, I think there's a 500 cap on the, uh, the gameplay zones right now. Yeah. So if we get to 1,000, no one else is logging in. <laughs> <laughs> is there a warning or anything for people? Or? Yeah, we'll boot them back out with an error. Okay. So anyway, guys, we're gonna we're gonna leave the build uh, up and running for two weeks. That'll give us plenty of time to collect some data on everything's performing, and we want to give you guys plenty of time to go through all of your exemplars and uh, make sure that you had a chance to collect material. And after hanging out with some of you guys at Gallivers. Like, I can't believe how many exemplars some of you own. Like, it's it's going to be insane to, to see what happens. But this is just this is just wonderful to see. It really feels like a bustling town or village. Super cool. Anyway, anyway guys, so poke around and play it, collect that materium, and thank you so much. And I will try to follow up with you guys in a couple days and collect some more feedback. Try to jump on Discord and. If there's any major problems, um, let us know. Let us know. We have people watching all the time, and they can pass that on to the development team. And if we encounter any super major problems, too, we might have to take the build down and push a new one. And if that if that happens, we'll, we'll of course, let you know. But don't worry. You'll all will have plenty of time to, to collect materia for your exemplars. All right, everyone jump to say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, jumps. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye, jumps. <laughs> Goodbye, jumps. <laughs> <laughs>